basket, and his wife, former playmate, author, and reality star, Kendra Wilkinson Basket to the show. <laughs> some bonding to them. Yeah, uh, you may have to I watch him talk. <laughs> so we were just discussing whether or not sex before a big sporting event is wise. And uh, Dr. Warden said it's a myth. Hank, you're a professional athlete. Yes or no? I'm going to have to say it's a reality. I would yeah. I'd never, never, never would do it before a big game. No. And are, no. You, are you good with that? Um, I'm actually pro that. I mean, he, when he played for the Eagles, uh, I would come back and I would spend the day before and the day after the game with him. That's all the time I had with him. So it was very tempting to, you know, to do it before the game. But I would never do it. I would never want to do it because I would feel so guilty. I would. But it was but one it, heck of an after-game party, right? It oh, was. Exactly, exactly, exactly. <laughs> it was worth the wait. <laughs> if you do it before, I just feel like yeah, the body energy, everything would be drained and you just wouldn't be able to perform the same. And, might she could be focused. a little bit of a distraction, right? Yeah, I mean, a little bit, you know. She's, <laughs> she's pretty easy on the eyes there. I feel as though, subjectively, there is, there's a difference of opinion. Some people are saying it's a myth. You're saying it's a myth. You are saying it's a reality. The, the evidence suggests that it is a myth, that there's no significant drop in testosterone levels, and that, theoretically, it shouldn't affect your performance. But I think if you personally aren't up for it before and you think it affects your performance, yeah. then you probably shouldn't. 